Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna walk you through the step-by-step -step process I plan on taking to make eight figures by the age of 26. We're gonna be out here in the beautiful forest, kind of just talking and sharing some thoughts. So excited to relax and uh, kick back and share some important strategy with you guys that you might be able to benefit from as well. So let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so for today's agenda, let's kind of share the landscape of kind of what I do and how I plan on getting to that next level. If you're clicking on this video for the first time, you may not know, but my name is Alex. I own and operate a seven-figure business called the Digital Business Accelerator. We help coaches, consultants, and online educators scale their business, build their personal brand, and onboard new coaching clients every single week. So that's what I've been doing for quite some time. I've done it under different pretenses, meaning I've helped people done it, do it through organic marketing, through paid marketing on Instagram, on TikTok, so many different mechanisms to kind of scale and grow a business. So what's working really well right now for our clients is focusing a lot on building that personal brand and running paid ads to fuel that personal brand. So because I have this skill set of marketing and sales for one of the most popular industries right now, which is the online education space. I've been able to fuel the lifestyle I want, been able to do some pretty amazing things. And I'm pretty hungry at the age of 23 for more success, not only for myself, but for my clients as well. So I want to share more about what we're doing and um, some strategies that we're seeing really take businesses to the next level and how we plan on implementing that as well. Alrighty, so if you guys don't go out on walks time to time, kind of clear your thoughts, get your best ideas on paper, then you're missing out on some of the best brainstorming times for me. Going on these nice walks, visiting these amazing trails, walking and just getting my thoughts out in open nature has been one of the most productive ways of getting really good ideas for content creation, for business growth, and just my overall personal development. So I highly recommend if you guys live somewhere in the Northeast or even if you live any part of the world, go outside, walk, with that being said, guys, I know you clicked on this video for some strategy. So what do I plan on doing to get to the next level, make a ton of money, make hopefully at one point one million dollars a month? Well, there's a lot of things. I think the first thing to understand is why I even want to do this goal. Honestly, I think at the age of 23, I'm pretty blessed. I drive a pretty amazing car. I do a lot of great things. I travel. I've been to so many different parts of the world, France, Mexico, Dubai, so many other countries. And I'm not just pursuing a higher revenue goal for my business and for myself just to do it, but because I want to create bigger impact and to create bigger impact in this world I need to touch more people and help more people grow so to do that I want to sharpen my skill sets as a marketer as a salesperson and just overall business owner but more importantly I want to help as many online educators really go out there and sell their passion and their knowledge and be able to make a ton of money doing it because we're in the new age I feel like for those of you know that know anything about American history during the 1920s gold rush when everyone was becoming really rich people were going out west mining getting tons of gold and so many job opportunities and successful people became a B because of the gold rush and it was basically a new opportunity to make a ton of money and it fed so many people put so many jobs out there and allowed people to grow and I feel like in 2023 and 2024 and so on we've entered the gold rush when it comes to social media and if you're not on social media if you're not taking your business on social media and trying to get to the next level you're missing out on tons of money and because I see this skill set and because I was blessed to be born during this era I'm gonna maximize this to my fullest potential and I want to do it by helping a ton of people. I always tell people if I wanted to just make money and be by myself, I'd be a stock trader. I wouldn't have to deal with anybody. I could just make a shit ton of money and just be what I do and do what I do. But in the space of online business, online education, coaching, consultant, and marketing, because I don't want to just grow my own business, but I want to grow a ton of other businesses as well. I've been able to work with fitness coaches, career coaches, marketing, lifestyle, mindset, so many different niches, you name it. Even as weird and as peculiar as helping people get over their exes, right? Like not even just marital coaching, but just their previous relationships. Like so many cool different things out there. Ever since the world shut down in 2020, so many opportunities arose from that. And if you weren't taking advantage of it then, you still have the opportunity to take advantage of it now. And um, if you're not making a ton of money, it's because you don't know how to tap into social media. So when it comes to building my personal brand, one of my main focuses right now is leveraging Instagram and YouTube to get a lot of attention and nurture that attention. So Starts off on Instagram when I'm running paid ads to my personal brand. I'm telling people, hey, if you want to learn this skill set, give me a follow, scroll through, watch some of my short form content. If you really want to overcome this pain point, head over to YouTube where I put in depth guides, tutorials, and trainings 
on how to overcome your issue in more detail. I'm actually giving away the farm, meaning I'm not hiding behind anything. I kind of share just about everything I do. There's no real secret. And that key skill set right there is gonna make me a ton of money because I'm being fully transparent in a market space that's filled with fluff and uh, smoke screens and people just hiding behind the real truth of what's making them a ton of money. I'm pretty transparent, my clients know that. And if you understand in the online education space, understand this one skill set, you'll be golden forever. People don't pay for information, they pay for implementation. Meaning you might know how to help someone lose weight and you can teach them on a free YouTube channel, but what's gonna really cost them or let them pay you or, or really wanna pay you is by helping them implement a personalized strategy to their own life. And that's one of the biggest things I can take pride on about the company that I run and operate and how I'm gonna take this to the next level is personalizing every experience to my clients. One thing to teach someone how to run paid ads, but it's another thing to teach them how to run paid ads so they can get a five to 10X return on investment because we help personalize their front end marketing to get their dream customers every single time. That's one of the biggest skill sets that I can proudly lay my hat on is, is the ability to really help personalize every approach. And that's gonna take me a lot farther. Now, of course, it wasn't always like this, right? I stumbled across to get to where I am now. I've made so many mistakes. If you didn't know, I used to rely heavily on organic marketing, TikTok, Instagram, code, Facebook outreach, email marketing, code, mass email marketing. I've done it all when it comes to lead generation, LinkedIn, Pinterest even. Did you even know you could do lead generation on Pinterest? I bet you didn't. I tried it, didn't work that well. But what I do now is just so much more powerful because I don't have to fight and claw and knock on doors basically or go in the DM inboxes begging and praying to have someone pay for what I have to offer. It's the exact opposite now. I have people coming to me every single day wanting to learn what I have to offer and the way I position it is the law of reciprocity. You give, 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 give people the sauce, the information that you have to offer, they're gonna wanna pay you back in return. Some of my best clients, actually majority of my best clients came to me. I didn't have to go out and reach out to them. They saw the free value I had to offer. They wanted to overcome an issue and I helped them do that. Now, let's take a look at this amazing view here. This is a beautiful lake and river. I really love water. When I mean that, I mean just by being by water, swimming in water, drinking water. But the, the sound of the lake right now is just so beautiful. Not sure if you can really hear it, but absolutely beautiful sight here. So I'm in a pretty competitive market space, which is the online lead generation space for business owners. But it honestly doesn't feel that way. I don't feel like I have too much competition because I've done a great job building my own personal brand, sharing my own market message, kind of changing the beliefs of my target audience. That's the secret sauce to really getting people to flock to you and build a strong, irresistible brand that has ready to die customers to pay you for whatever you have to offer. If you can change someone's belief, you'll win them over every single time. Here's an example. I have so many people, especially coaches, consultants, come to me and their first big pain point and issue that they always face is organic marketing. It's something I've dealt with myself. I've grown over 200,000 followers on TikTok across two separate accounts. I grew over 30,000 followers organically on Instagram, 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I've been through the organic grind, having to post tons of content every day to see your videos taper off and stay stagnant despite you doing all the research in the world with the latest hashtag strategies, keywords, and just still not getting the growth and sales to your business like you want. Because I've gone through that pain point, I've been able to resonate that through my content. I share that a lot about how I overcame the organic marketing content hamster wheel, and now I don't have to worry so much about content and focus more about sales and grow my business. And so many of my prospects and clients come to me saying, that was the thing that sold me out. You did a good job explaining it through your own personal experiences. So. I'm in a competitive market, but it doesn't feel that way because I'm building my own lane, carving my own mechanism. I have so many people that have come up to me and said, hey, I thought about running ads with this other competitor, but the way you go about it is so different and I wanted to learn through you. All right guys, so we're at one of my favorite parts about this park, which is this beautiful lake. I actually filmed one of my most popular and highest converting ads in this park here. So I'm actually super excited to be back here, relive some memories and hey, maybe record some more ads because it gave me some good luck the first time I did it. So as far as my actual game plan, I plan on continuously uploading to YouTube consistently. I currently upload two times a week to my YouTube channel and I try to keep the content very informative but also sharing my personal side as you guys can see i'm here i'm just kind of walking at my favorite park here in connecticut if you didn't know i'm from connecticut pretty boring state but this is where i've been building my business this entire time so can't uh crap on it too much right so yeah i, I plan on continuously growing my youtube channel posting twice a week being consistent and informative but also sharing my authentic side right you guys need to know that i'm a real person that has true genuine goals and aspirations to help because i've gotten people telling me like yo before getting on this call with you alex i was 
was a little skeptical because in this space, there's a lot of scammers. You got me on the call because I could see the real side of you, which if you're not doing that already in your marketing, making sure you're not just being an encyclopedia, just providing information, but actually sharing your personal stories, your goals, your aspirations, your failures, everything, people are not gonna really wanna connect with you. As far as Instagram goes, that's actually where a lot of my leads come from. And I funnel them to YouTube, like I mentioned. But with Instagram, I only post three to five times a week. This is so much less than what I used to post when I was relying on organic marketing. I used to post two, three times a day, go live a couple times a week. On Instagram, because I'm paying to get more attention and eyeballs, I don't have to rely on the algorithm to get me new reach and new leads. I don't have to post as much anymore on Instagram. So three to five times a week is all I need. My paid ads are running on autopilot, bringing me new followers every single day and with total consistency in, on autopilot, which is just great. So continuously running paid ads on Instagram, getting my ideal audience to follow me, learn a little bit about me, kind of bring them into my world and then um, bring them over to YouTube. The way I see the two platforms coinciding, it's like getting on a first date, right? Instagram is that first date. Maybe they swipe left or right on Tinder, just getting to know them and YouTube is like bringing them back home to the apartment, you know what I mean? So um, I'm slowly getting a lot of my following to grow and kind of be on both platforms where they can see both sides of me. You're not gonna learn a lot in a 30 to 60 second reel on Instagram or TikTok, but it's enough to pique your interest a little bit. And then you go over to YouTube, you realize I'm giving insane value, and then you're like, okay, I gotta pay and work with this guy. So I hope that belief works with a lot of, well, I know that belief will work with a lot of you guys that are probably watching this and are trying to grow your business, but implementing that and applying that at scale is is where a lot of people struggle and what i'm personally doing right now is i am being consistent and that's the biggest thing but also being patient as well like i think at scale you start to realize that there isn't a lot that goes on behind the scenes to make a lot of money now when i just started in business i could show you guys my calendar and what it used to look like but i spent so much time doing so many meaningless daily tasks i was doing code outreach in facebook groups i was posting twice a day on tiktok and instagram i was going live i was trying to fix and twiddle my website my landing page i was trying to create new emails to send out to my email list i was um, managing multiple team members I actually have less team members now and I'm making more money now than I did when I had a team of seven. I have a business partner right now, his name's Trevor, and we've been in the game for going on three years now. And man, we've learned that by slimming down your business and cutting down all the operational drag, you're gonna be so much better off. And I used to have an agency as well, a content marketing agency. We'd create content ideas and help clients with their hooks, their keywords, their posting and all that stuff. And man, I would never go back to an agency ever again. Like online coaching is the way to go about it, man. I work less and create a bigger impact. And that's always something that means a lot to me is that impact, being able to help someone change their lives. I've been able to help people quit their jobs, right? And I wasn't doing that with a constant marketing agency despite making 50K a month with overhead charges and with the lack of clients fulfillment. As far as a connection basis goes, it just wasn't for me. I don't know if you, how many of you guys are watching this are agency owners. I don't know how profitable your agency is, but if it isn't that profitable, get into online coaching, man. Like it's, it's the best way to go. You can provide the education you need Need and still create a big impact without actually having to do all the work for your clients. I think that's the biggest thing, right? It's starting to get a little windy here. I'll cut to the next scene while the wind uh, kind of dies down a little bit. All right, so back to my point about kind of just growing with lean, consistent growth over time, you wanna sell through content, right? Content is the number one selling asset on the planet right now. Social media is important. Think about anyone you've per recently purchased a product or service from, they probably have some type of online presence. And if they didn't, you probably might be regretting that purchase, right? So online information and online presence and building a brand is so important. You think of the Gary V's of the world, the Car Grant Cardone's, the Alex Ramosi's, they preach building through video. Because I'm building that brand through video, I'm not just running ads to a VSL webinar, hoping someone gives me their name, email, phone number, and try to spam them with text messages and emails to buy. Instead, I'm just selling through content. You get to see the real transparent me. You can see me, you know, slowly, getting out of breath here as I'm walking. Um, I did go to the gym earlier today and this walk is a pretty long trail, so don't make fun of me. I'm 23, but I, I swear I'm, I'm healthy but you get to see both sides of me and I hope you're doing the same to build your business. And I know building a personal brand on social media can be a little daunting. It feels like there's so many different directions you can take it. Do you go out there and purchase a video editor to help you do the crazy caption style content and all that stuff? Do you go out there and just film through your phone? Do you get a professional camera? Speaking of which, this is actually filmed on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. You don't need a really crazy camera. The camera I normally film with on my YouTube videos is actually my uh, Sony a6600 or something like that. So I did invest in that, but that was well after I was making a ton of money. Ooh, we got some ducks up ahead.
Ducks are so interesting. Um, they're interesting creatures, if you ask me, because they, um, they're innocent, right? They're cool and innocent, but at times they can get aggressive. So I'm going to try to get up there, get close to them. I am not a wilderness type of person, but I can be in the right environment. Let's walk up to these guys and see if they're uh, going to be nice to me. Hey, are we all walking this way, guys? What's going on? You know? There's a lot of them out here. I don't know if you guys can even see them all. Man, I love this lake, man. So beautiful. Very beautiful lake. The views. The water is like glistening. It's crazy. Man, I love the outdoors. Kind of want to end off by saying this, man. Ultimately speaking, whatever you're looking to do, grow your business, scale it, start it, whatever. The biggest things to keep in mind here is building a personal brand, but being very informative and also personal and authentic with that personal brand. And you can save yourself a heck amount of time by building that brand if you leverage what we call the accelerator funnel. I actually put together my entire thesis on how to build a business to six, seven figures. The online education space is a multi-billion dollar industry that's consistently growing. So if you're an existing coach or you're looking to start coaching, the best way to go about it is with social media and paid marketing. And if you don't know where to get started or how to actually build the entire system, the marketing system, which is what most people struggle with, go ahead and check out this video here called The Accelerator Thesis. I break down in a 40 minute training, everything you need to know from creating a really good world-class offer to getting clients to that offer and building an effortless client acquisition system that turns those new eyeballs into paying customers on autopilot. That's what I use to scale my business to seven figures a year and you could do the same. So if you didn't already, subscribe, like this video, comment, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one.